want to talk a little bit about this a bit of a sad issue regarding resident advisor big up resident advisor for the coverage of this one it's regarding the legendary dj and producer ron trent so it says a crime against promoters ron trent accuses booking agent darren james thomas i think it's good they got his full name here by the way that of fraud and theft so again another episode of somebody scamming now the booking agent of a legendary chicago house dj has been accused of scamming absolutely wild right so let's actually read the article here there's ron trent there pictured so let's read the article let's get this going so ron trent has accused british booking agent darren james thomas of fraud and theft speaking to resident advisor the chicago house artist said james thomas um owes him and his team tens of thousands of dollars the exact figure wasn't disclosed he said that his team first established a working relationship with james thomas in november 2023 they should obviously say the the the, the number they're probably embarrassed because of how much they got scammed but if you want to actually have it have traction and actually expose a person you know put your shame to one side and actually say the total figure so that people are aware of how much money is actually on the line it continues in a public statement, Trent said, James Thomas had been fraudulently booking festivals in my name and collected. <laughs> Yo, that's a crazy hustle. This agent had been fraudulently booking festivals in my name and collected several payments without my authorization. This behavior was discovered when he disappeared with the payments owed and subsequently shut down his website. Oh my God. What a hustle. So you agree a uh, festival reaches out oh my god we love run trent we want to book him for our festival and our rave you discuss rates and stuff they might send the full payment or half the payment and you say yeah runs ready he's ready to go he can't wait to see you guys run never turns up but the booking agent keeps the money now maybe the festival the dj people will be upset but they'll just maybe chalk it up to standard DJ practice, right? Because DJs sometimes get fucked up or maybe they just miss their flights and stuff, whatever it may be. So they probably wouldn't think much of it. They probably think it's just another instance of a DJ just not showing up and flaking. But actually, it's the guy in the background who's actually pocketing all the DJ fees. That's wild. That is wild. And again, to be fair, to be fair again, in a particular situation, I bet you, this scam is an opportunistic scam because i would imagine most likely when payments are made they're not made to the dj they're probably made to like whatever company is the booking company and then the booking company then gives the money to the dj because they have to take their fee i think fees are like 10 percent or something so i think that's where this that's where the tendency and the allure to scam comes in because you get the money yourself then you have to pay the dj so unless the DJ is on top of their business, they know how much they're getting paid and stuff. Wherever you send them is what you send them. So there's probably DJs now, professional ones, who are getting scammed or maybe a booking agent is like, you know, just, you know, slightly just scraping a little bit off the top, not being too obvious with it, a bit extra, and then paying the DJ. That's probably a thing that happens quite often, especially when you consider how much DJs are getting paid. They're probably thinking, oh, this guy's playing four shows this weekend. He won't notice. <sighs> If it was me, I'll notice. I'll be on top of my business. There's no way I'm letting somebody run up hundreds and thousands of dollars worth of fucking payments in my name. No way. It continues. We deeply apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. Our legal team is on it. And we've reported the fraud to the UK fraud agencies, which is now investigating. This is a crime against promoters who have lost money. To all promoters, please cut off communication with James Thomas. So I guess the promoters were trying to sue him, maybe. Maybe this is what's happening. Maybe the agent was scamming by booking these gigs or agreeing to these bookings without actually informing uh, Ron Trent and obviously pocketing the booking fee. But then over time, these promoters and whatever got frustrated and had enough and decided to maybe threaten, you know, a lawsuit against Ron Trent. And he probably found out through that, like, what? I don't know nothing about this. And now I guess he's trying to make it categorically clear he has no parts in this whatsoever. Now, the okie doke could be this. I love Ron Trent. He's a legend. But the okie doke could be this. The okie doke could be that Ron Trent is involved in the scam. That could be a really interesting okie doke. You play it off like your booking agent is scamming you because they're booking gigs for you without your consent or without your approval. But then you're actually both in on it. So you don't get to have to go and fly anywhere. 
and then he gets to maybe bust down the money with you, maybe half and half. You don't have to play, he gets more of the money. And takes a bears a brunt of the backlash and shit. It's almost like, you know, when uh when a hip hop artist keeps like a regular civilian around to flip and take the gun charge if they ever get pulled over and the, and they find whaps in the car. That could be the thing. It could be a little bit of an okie doke. You never know. Um, one case allegedly involves Amsterdam Festival Deck Mantle, which approached James. Okay, this is this is probably why they got caught. The guy started scamming like big festivals who have the resources and the time to take you to court. So I guess this is what happened. Again, another instance of somebody not knowing when to stop scamming. Maybe the first couple of times you can get away with pocketing the DJ fee, but after times you have to or pick your victims wisely. Don't go for everybody. Don't go for the big dogs. So one case allegedly involves Amsterdam Festival Deck Mantle, which approached James Thomas on October 17, 2023, to inquire about booking artists for its 10th anniversary in the summer of 2024. The agent had recently left FMLY Agency, which was co-founded in 2015, and set up a new firm called the Unknown Agency, TUA, in September 2023. In email seen by RA, James Thomas... Honestly, I think I've seen that before. I think I've seen that people's bios. I'm not going to lie. The James Thomas offered Trent as an option for Deck Mantle's booker, David Corlinison, on November the 9th, 2023. By the way, they're putting this guy's full government on the fucking article. I'm sure this guy's DMs and IG and just emails have been blowing up. People asking for gigs. They put this guy's full government. Deck Mantle booker David Corlinison is probably getting hit up now by hundreds of thousands of DJs looking for a gig. You don't put this guy's full government out there. Like, God damn, R.A. Anyway, continuing. After some negotiation, Dick Manto and James Thomas appeared um, to agree on terms for Trent. Um, call, call listen, or what's his first name? Uh, David said that he sent a signed contract to James Thomas on February the 9th, and he sent back a countersign the same day. <laughs> Of course he did. Uh, Dick Mantle's finance team then paid the... T wow! Yo, I need to get... I need to become a professional DJ ASAP. ASAP. Not only to play in my favorite clubs, also to make sure I get the bag. The DJs are getting paid in full for a festival before they've performed. I thought that you get paid half and half. Or you get, or you get paid after the gig. Like how I do at my level. If you get tokens or somebody gives you money out of the cash tier or something after the night's finished, or you invoice them after. DJs get paid in full before they've even played. Yowzers. This is interesting, amazing for me, obviously, but it's also prime for scamming, isn't it? No wonder so many people... I wonder if there's a... There must be a clause, though, in contracts. If you don't turn up, you might have to return some money or something. It must be a clause. Because I was wondering... Did, this might explain why so many DJs decide to just like, oh, I'm sick. I can't turn up or something and flake. I wonder if that's part of it. Because <laughs> that that's, seems to be a common thing. DJs just like not showing up at certain gigs. So I wonder if that plays into it. Or maybe because they know they're going to get paid anyway by another festival. If they miss one, if they miss out on one 9K, they're going to get another 9K tomorrow. So it's not like, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not the be on end of. But I didn't know they get paid in full. That's wild. It continues. In June, um, David said Trent approached him to inquire about the fee and whether it had been paid. Uh, David said he then followed up with James Thomas via WhatsApp. <laughs> That's when you know someone scammed you. When you've conducted business well on one medium, on one platform, in on one form of communication, but then you have to chase up the business on other part on other communication platforms. You've probably been scammed or you're in the process of being scammed. Because if we're okay to talk on email, why am I not having to flip and text you? Why am I WhatsApping you? You know, why am I trying to call you now? Something's gone wrong. Something's gone very, very wrong. According to him, James Thomas replied to messages sporadically throughout June before ceasing communication on the 25th. Trent and his team have um, are yet to receive any money, though they have described, sorry, decided to honor the booking on August 3rd. <laughs> So now Ron Trent is basically having to pay for free. Probably cover his own travel, accommodation. I don't because I don't blame Dick Mantle for like, nah, we booked you, brother. We pay the money. You're playing. I don't care. You saw that issue with your guy. Like, you're paying. You you don't you know what I mean? I, I wonder if they're kind of like slightly saying it's his responsibility too, because it's his agent. Which it isn't really because the the agent's clearly scamming him. 
Maybe. We don't know. It continues. The main issue with the situation, aside from the theft, is that we operate within a bubble of trust, said Corn... How do you pronounce that name? Would it be Cornelius? Colli... Connie Lesson, or do it, Corn, yeah, it'd be Corny Listen, right? Corny Listen. So Corny Listen says it's about trust. Our entire industry relies on mutual goodwill, cooperation, trustworthiness. Okay, now I get what he means. Because what DJ really worth their soul would want to take the full payment up front before they perform that gig and then run off and not play. Because if you do that once or twice, you basically burned yourself in the industry. Everyone's gonna know you're a scammer, that was gonna get around, you're not gonna get booked anymore. So it's in your best interest to play. You agreed to it, you play. You got a payment, you play. I understand. I get, I get what they mean now. Our entire industry relies on mutual goodwill, cooperation, and trustworthiness. In the 10 years in my field, <laughs> I have never encountered a situation like this before. So this is more proof that the, the business does run this way. It's a small business, probably booking agents, no booking agents, DJs, no DJs, organizers, no organizers. No one's really scamming like this. No, people probably do scam still, but not like this. Both, prof both personally and professionally, this has been damaging for everyone involved. To protect others and, uh, and after giving Dave Darren ample time to set rectify the situation, we have to go public to validate Ron's experience and our own. Wow, bro. The shame, bro. This Dave Tom, this, what's his name? This Dave, anyone with a double barrel name is also a bit sus, by the way. Double barrel name guys are always scamming. This uh, James Thomas guy, yowzers, bro. Um, Trent, who didn't tour in Europe between 2015 and 2023, said he spent two years working on the Warm Live show, which is based around uh, his 2022 album, What Do Stars Say To You? Um, Trent is one of the four band members alongside Gigi Massin, Miley Mazmanzana, and Neil Charles, read Trent's full statement below. God almighty, bro. Yeah, the, um, dear, dear, oh, this is Ron Trent's statement. Dear all valued partners, we regret to inform you of an unfortunate situation involving Darren James Thomas from Unknown Agency, formerly known as FMLY Agency, who in recent months is working with my team on a trial basis. It has come to our attention that Mr. Thomas had been fraudulently booking festivals in my name and collected several payments without my authorization. This behavior was discovered when he disappeared with the payments owed and subsequently shut down his website. <laughs> I'm sorry. Him taking the money and blocking everybody and shit is hilarious. We deeply apologize for any convenience this may have caused. Our legal team is on it. We reported it to the fraud agency, which is now investigating. This is a crime against the promoters who have lost money. To all promoters, please cut off communication with Mr. Thomas. If you have affected the situation or inquiries regarding the future bookings, please contact us at musicpowerbiz at gmail.com. Bloody hell, man. To be fair, I've always wondered, why do DJs anyway bother with booking agencies? Because if you're famous enough, you get a lot of like inbound requests, I'd imagine. If you're a well-regarded person, if you've got a banging tune at the moment, everyone's going to be trying to hit you up to get you to play anyway. So why do you need somebody to book you? Because it's all inbound. But then I guess reading the article, it did say that this James Thomas guy reached out to Dick Mantle and recommended Ron Trent. So I guess that's, that's the work of an agent. It's not inbound, it's outbound. You are going and hitting up different festivals, hitting up your contacts and saying, hey, I've got, this is my roster of people. Do, is there anybody here that you'd like? And you're suggesting it, which is weird because I always thought festivals or club nights had an idea of who they wanted. But I guess it doesn't work that way. I guess it's kind of maybe half and half. Maybe you have a list of people that you want to book, but then you also are open to suggestions from booking agents who might have access to people you couldn't get in touch with. They might come with a package deal and recommend two different people, maybe different genres, blah, -de blah, blah, blah. But it does seem like it's ripe for scamming. I feel like most people could probably get away with doing it themselves. I know when it's my turn, to play in these big places i won't have an agency i won't have an agent i'll just do it all myself like there's no need to have somebody and pay them to what answer emails to fill out an invoice like it's not hard to do um to organize your calendar like it's not that difficult i would imagine again speaking from the outside in and speaking of somebody that's only played in like small clubs in london and bars and stuff maybe i'm speaking a little bit out of turn but i honestly think 
it's a waste of time and money and probably um it's just opening you up to getting scammed because it seems like in that side of things there are people who are maybe not in it for the right reason so hopefully this works out for ron trent because like i said he's a legend and um yeah man this uh james thomas guy has been burnt darren james thomas has been absolutely burnt and exposed as a scammer and um yeah man he just as per usual with these scamming people they don't know where to stop he probably run up a couple of scams in a couple of clubs that no one probably would hear about because they're in maybe you know not so popular markets but then when you start scamming like the big dogs like dick mantle people are going to find out you're going to get exposed and you're probably going to get in big trouble. So let's see how it plays out. Let's see how that one plays out for Darren James Thompson and obviously Ron Trent.